Firstly, we collect the historical data. We rearrange the data in ascending order to determine the minimum and maximum values. We then define the universe of discourse. In this example, we will obtain the universe of discourse as the interval ranging from 1750 until 5500. Using the average base length method, we obtain the interval length of 100. We then partition the universe of discourse into 36 intervals. For each interval, we define the trapezoidal fuzzy numbers, which will be used to form the fuzzy sets. Using this trapezoidal membership function, we transform the CRISP data into fuzzy sets by defining their membership functions. For example, for the datum 1794.5, we use this function and the corresponding fuzzy number to obtain its membership function, which is 0 0.445. Next, we establish the intuitionistic fuzzy sets. These conversion functions are used to define the membership and non-membership values of the intuitionistic fuzzy sets. In the next step, we will intuitionistic fuzzify the data. Hence, we calculate the score functions by subtracting the non-membership values from the membership values. In reference to the score function values, the intuitionistic fuzzy sets are compared and the data are finally intuitionistic fuzzified. We rearrange the data in its original sequence using the VLOOKUP function in the Microsoft Excel. Next, we form the intuitionistic fuzzy logical relationships IFLR. For example, the data here is I3, I2 and I3. Another one is I3, I2 and I4. Hence, we obtain the second order IFLR like this. In the next step, we defuzzify the intuitionistic fuzzy sets. This defuzzification formula is used to transform the sets into crisp values. The absolute score values and their product with the data are calculated and summed. Hence, we obtain the crisp defuzzified value. Finally, we can calculate the forecasted output using these rules. Utilizing the IFLR and the defuzzified values, we perform the VLOOKUP functions to automatically calculate the forecasted output. These data are finally compared and presented in a graph.